Hello everyone, welcome to your career path reading. This will be a fun reading about your career path that you may be already working on or you're looking into uh, that area and maybe you'll find something here that resonates with you and there'll be a few different cards and on some kind of advice as well at the end and uh, you'll see which one resonates more with you. Like I always say, go with your gut feeling, your first choice and that will be the one for you. Just meditate a little bit regarding your career path and then make your choice. Like always, there will be a description of the cards and all the details of the ones I'm using in case you're interested in getting them for yourself and my links as well. All right, so if you wanted to concentrate and think on your, of your career path and choose the pile number one will be the angel, pile number two is the selenite tower and the pile number three will be the quartz crystal tree. Okay, so just concentrate, think a little bit and have fun. If you chose pile number one with the angel, here is your reading. Just take him out of here, put him aside here, maybe here. Right, so your first card is this one, the compassion card. I'll open a few cards for you. The second one, it's the cooperation. I will open at least one more and two more. And the uh, next one is flame of inspiration. Just organize them here. And the next is friendship. Right, can you see? I'll organize them here in a way that you can see them all because there will be more, but I'll hold on to this for, for now. So what I'd like to say for you, uh, I'll have more here, then I'll read them after. So what I'd like to say to you guys is your career path is definitely related to helping others, right? There's compassion, there's cooperation, there's a flame of inspiration, you definitely are uh, someone who has compassion in your life, so you feel for others. You like to be around others with cooperation, you know, having friendship, having uh, other people around you, and then you you work well together, and uh, you can help others. You have a very good uh, um, reading for other people. You are good at. Um, uh, teams and you know being one-to-one -one as well people are drawn to you they are happy with your advice they come to you when they have some issues you know so I would say anything related to um, uh, inspiring others like teachers um, assistants uh, customer service counselors psychologists um, lawyers anything related to helping others, assisting others, helping them uh, with their day-to-day -day, um, lives, activities, you will be drawn into helping others. That's mainly what I see here, right? And um, it would be more to do with uh, maybe something you're already doing at the moment or maybe something you are inspired to do and you wanted to do but you didn't uh, really go for it, right? So I'll just open, I'm trying to make some space here for other ones. And uh, I wanted to read the first card for you. All right, so attack, pain, fear. Just remember this kind of things, right? That could happen in these uh, areas. You know, someone can come to you very hurt. So attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. This could be the kind of people that come to you first, the way they come, raw, with their problems, for you to help them. So just remember, it's just a call for help. You will see that a lot, depending on the area you are at the moment or you want to be. You know, if you're helping others, um, uh, like you know, like I say, psychologists, counselors, could be nurses, doctors, mentors, teachers, 
people can come to you uh, in a very negative state at, at, I know at start and then you would need to help them because they're coming to you for help so you will see that this will be many times how they come to you first but just remember put in your mind they just call for help so don't take it always personal you will need to separate yourself a little bit from their problems don't let yourself being you know hurt by it remember the the friendship is important there they and they just call for help just remember that all right we do have a second card here which is a lovely lovely card from the uh, the universe has your back cards another one from the same card of this this one on the side and um, I'll have here for you uh, more like uh, um, more like uh, an advice right so just put in here for you to see my capacity to tune in to the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up the compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I am lost just remember you have the capacity to help others you have it in you to help others and sometimes you will need to ask what are the right words to use you know you need the energy of love just remember tune in with the higher powers ask for help from the higher powers to use the right words uh, to have compassion for these people that will come to you to that you you know will need your assistance and uh, remember you have the power even if you feel lost sometimes just ask for the higher powers to assist you and you will be able to continue your path so uh, group number one this is your reading I hope it resonates with you I hope you have something here that you can take it with you and uh, maybe something that you already doing or you want to do but let me know and uh, I wish you all the best in your career path If you are the group number two and chose the pile, the second pile with this beautiful selenite crystal, I'll just put here for you. This will be your first card if about your career path. Okay, let me open your first card here. And here it is. Your first card is Inspired Warrior. I will open a few cards, okay, for you. Second card will be Prosperity Freedom. Third card is Don't Compromise. I'll open one more here for you now, which is Manifestation. Okay, you can see there. I'll just organize them in this side here so you can see them all. There will be two more, but um, those are your first four cards. And I can tell you regarding your career path, you are the born leaders right so you will have or at least you should have the higher positions the management directors uh, ceos project manager finance sales hr managers politics anything to do really with higher positions so maybe you already work in this area or maybe it's something that you um, want to maybe that's could be one of the reasons you may be not happy with where you are because you aspire to change position to go higher and uh, the fourth card here as you can see is don't compromise so if it's something that you want to do you should go for it apply for that position or many times it's about having your own business because you don't like to be told what to do you like to uh, have other people that you can delegate as well and uh, maybe having your own business is an option too and uh, just remember don't compromise go for it go for what you want and you can actually inspire others you can be very good leaders um, you know being in higher positions doesn't mean you you're not uh, being a nice person or anything like that you can see prosperity freedom is here good money should flow to you and manifestation you should be able to manifest what you want and uh, what really you desire you know your strong personality I'd say go for it don't give up on your dreams 
you can inspire others from these higher positions too and uh, you know be really really helpful uh, to other people generate jobs you can be inspired warrior really strong people like I said maybe this is something you're already doing or maybe it's something you want to do and uh, you know go for it manifestation is here for you don't compromise and make sure you ask for the higher powers for help and you will be able to achieve your dreams it's really here for you it's very clear you you're very strong you can do it and it just uh, depends on you as well so you can manifest don't compromise on what you want but ask for help as well from above from the higher powers and you'll be able to do it we actually have uh, two other cards here for you just get some space here and the first card here I'll read it for you the moment I realign with love clear directions is presented to me lovely card here and uh, it's really about uh, asking for that help as well so align with love and in case you don't know exactly where to go or even if you are in these higher positions you need to uh, delegate and uh, you know uh, be able to be the inspired warrior really and manifest you will need clear directions so ask the help from above and you'll be able to present yourself and be an example really for other people because in higher positions that's mainly what you need to to be you need to be an example you don't need many times to use so much of your words and this has so much to do with this other card here that we have so I'll read it for you here my vibes speak louder than my words I'll add it here for you to see right so that's exactly what I'm saying and if you have those higher positions you will be inspiring others and you need to know what to say many times but in, in clear directions but also many times it's about what you do your you know your position your uh, like I said your example will show it all this is it group number two I hope it resonates with you if you're already doing this or if you want to do it let me know and uh, all the best with your career path thank you if you chose this beautiful clear quartz uh, crystal tree then this is your career path reading I'll give you a first first card right your first card I'll give you a few cards first one is creativity second one is abundance within fourth card is spontaneous and intuitive creation right here beautiful cards and I give you one more which is nature right so if you chose this third option you are the creative guys right you are the artist you are the the painters graphic designers photographers game designers interior designers architects chefs you know you have to uh, your career would have something to do with creativity with arts and um, I would like to tell you that this is a very beautiful beautiful path and uh, like the cards are saying the creativity is there but you will need and you have the abundance within it's a little bit of self introspection as well that you need to find your creation uh, your your creativity you need to sometimes uh, step away from the crowds and spend some time alone some time in nature especially that will recharge you because uh, I feel like you get a bit um, uh, you know taken away with the stress of people you're a bit in between so you need that abundance within so we you will need to go in you know inside the yourself you will need to recharge because uh, you this will take a toll on you sometimes the creation you know so you will need you have high uh, sometimes highs and lows and you will need to make sure you recharge as often as you can and then you in, in case you lose your creativity you bring that back when you spend time in nature when you have some time alone 
to recharge. Nature very, very important for you. And then you'll be able to have that time within and, and uh, be able to find your creativity. So you'll, you'll have a, spon a spontaneous and intuitive creation card here as well, which is about, uh, you know, having fun too. Don't forget to have fun and uh, uh, your creation is also there when you're having fun. You, you have your intuition, you, you're highly intuitive. And uh, I'll give you one more card here that will help you. But this is, this is it, you, you're really on the creation path here. Many lovely areas that you can go. Your first card, and uh, I mean your fifth card, another card I have here for you. It's my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. So really pay attention on what you're focusing on because sometimes you can go into the dark sides as well. You know, so uh, focus your energy on on your on the positivity on on the spontaneous uh, being spontaneous in nature and your creation you know your creativity will be there your energy will be higher like i say sometimes this can take a little bit of a toll on you this creativity it takes uh, your energy so you will need to recharge constantly that's my feeling so but focus on what you want and you will be able to manifest we have this other card here which is joy is the ultimate creator and this is really important for you make sure you're having fun you have joy with what you are doing because that's very important for you to have fun otherwise you you're not feeling create creative in you wouldn't be able to um, you know do as much as you want at being happy because like i said it takes a toll on you sometimes you need to recharge and if you have joy you're being spontaneous the create the you know joy is the ultimate creator so you will be able to create more to have your creativity flowing and be happy with what you're doing so i'm not sure if you're already doing something in this area or if it's something that you want to do but if this is something that called your attention you most likely the creative side uh, that you have and uh, if you're not already on this area, maybe something you want to try and see how happy you can, you can feel, all right? So group number three, this is your reading. I hope it resonates with you and I wish you all the best with your career path. Thanks for watching.